हेलो नमस्कार अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर श्री काल केम छ आई एम रिचब चार्जी इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शेयरिंग विद यू अ काइंड ऑफ बैड एक्सपीरियंस दैट आई हैड व्हाइल आई वाज रिसर्चिंग फॉर अ न्यू हेलमेट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड अ फ्यू डेज बैक आई वेंट टू जेसी रोड इन बेंगलोर व्हिच इज लाइक द मेन मार्केट फॉर ऑल द ऑटोमोबाइल एक्सेसरीज so i had gone there to fix a luggage box for my bike now if you want to see what kind of luggage box the link will be in the description so after fixing the luggage box i was actually looking for a new helmet now one of the criteria was that this helmet should be able to fit in that luggage box so i went to one of the shops on jc road and i'm not na- going to be naming the shop because maybe if i name the shop you might not be going to the shop any more now the i don't know the shop is good or bad but my experience but was bad how so while going home i just uh, saw the shop and it was not a small shop it was a big pretty big shop with a lot of people inside so i stopped there now i had no intention of buying a helmet i just wanted to uh, research a bit about what are the uh, models available and whether how was the fitting it was one of my other main criteria was the fitting should be very good i mean current my current helmet was, uh, is loose slightly it has become loose so the new helmet i wanted to buy the fit should be good so i went to the shop and uh, the first this guy what there was one guy who told me ha to what kind of helmet i was looking at told him i want a, a helmet in the budget of 1000 to 1000 to 2000 show me all the models here so first he came with a vega helmet okay so uh, i thought obviously if you are showing me the fir- a first helmet so i thought it it should be the best helmet according to your opinion at least it should be the best helmet that you are showing me So he showed me on Vega helmet. I don't know the name of what was the model, but I had done a bit research on the internet and I had seen Studs Shifter and Steel Bird Air. These were the two helmets that uh, people were buying in the one thousand, two thousand range, which he didn't show. So I asked him, uh, "Do you have the Steel Bird Air?" So he said, "Ha, huh, I have, I have." So he showed me the Steel Bird Air. So uh, I asked him, "Is this the best one in one thousand, two thousand?" So ha ha, this is this is also good. This is also good. He didn't tell which is the best or in his opinion what was good. Then I asked him, "Start the shifter. You have to start shifter." Then he showed me the start shifter, and then then he's telling me, "Oh, this this is the best one in 2000 range. This 2200 rupees, little bit more, but uh, this is the best one." So I was at that time I was like slightly taken aback. I mean, I asked you for a good helmet between 1000 2000 range and. You are like showing me some models, not telling which is good. I mean, what kind of marketing are you doing? So that was the first thing where I was lightly taken aback. What is this guy? What what kind of helmet is he suggesting me? He himself is like showing me. I think price wise, he's showing me lesser. Whereas if the helmet is not good, also he's showing me the, those helmets. So uh, then I asked him, uh, show me in. Uh, do you have empty helmets? Because some of my friends. in a, a few days back i had made uh, made a video suggesting if uh, suggesting you all to suggest me some new model of helmet so some people had suggested me the empty helmets so those are very good in comfort wise so i asked him uh, hel- empty helmet so he told me oh that that, that is around 5000 rupees first thing <laughs> instead of showing the helmet also and telling the good thing the first thing he told me was Oh, the, oh, that is five thousand rupees. So, oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I want to see. So he showed me the helmet, and uh, first, you know, this is ECE dot certification and all. Fine. So I, uh, yeah, I wore it, and then I removed it, and then he's telling me, which was really shocking, was that empty helmets are not good. So I asked him why empty helmets are not good. So he told me warranty. They don't give warranty. Now I don't know whether this is true or not. But the first thing why he told me not good, the empty helmets don't give warranty. And then he told me one interesting story. So I I don't know the story is true or not, but in Chennai it seems some two, two riders were wearing empty helmets and they died. And because of that, this person is telling me that empty helmets are bad. Now what happened to that accident? How it happened? I don't know if this story is true also. I don't know. But because of that accident, those two people died. This guy is telling me the helmet is only bad. So I I didn't tell much. Okay, fine. So I, I asked him which is good helmet in five thousand range. Tell me which is good helmet. You are telling me empty is not good. 
So tell me which is good helmet. So he came with XR, AXOR helmet and it was like, this is the best helmet. Hai bhai. 5000 mein you don't get any other helmets. And before this, he also told me the LS2 helmets and all he showed me. You can buy LS2 only. Now why you want to buy MT? So this guy was basically against MT. I don't know why. But he didn't definitely didn't want me to buy a L MT helmet. So uh, then uh, he asked me, uh, Axe or buy Axe or this is the best and I wore it also and uh, it was pretty good. I mean, when I wore the studs and the MT, uh, sorry, studs and the Axe or one thing that I felt was common was that the fitting was really good. I mean, this Vega and uh, the steel bird, the fitting was not that correct. I mean, I asked him if the fitting would be changed. It's slightly loose. So he told me, ha ha, we can change the fitting. But I don't know how much that is true. But the studs and the Axor and even the MT, they were like proper fitting so tight. And if I moved my head and all, it was not moving. So I was really impressed with the fitting actually. Fitting actually. Fine, he told me Axor is uh, the best I should buy Axor. I asked him, uh, should we try? I, I have a luggage box. Uh, can I tr can you try to put the helmet and I want to check if the box closes. So we went outside and he was like, um, he saw my bike. It was it's matte. Uh, Grey color, so that uh, helmet also was matte grey. So, oh, color we match karta hai. Very good. It is for perfect for your bike. I was like, color match karta hai. Kato kya hua? How does that matter? If I like the color, it's okay. If I'm matching and all, okay, it's an extra bonus. But I'm not going to buy a helmet just because the color is matching. So we tried to fit the um, helmet in the box, and unfortunately, I told you know because of this much gap, it was not fitting. So that time I was like, huh, okay, fine. I, he could, I think, see in my face that I was not really impressed because I'm not fitting. So that time he started telling me, eh, this box is waste. You shouldn't have got this box. This, uh, you should have taken just a side box. Or I, um, I told him I want to keep a helmet in this luggage box. So I bought it. So I was like, eh, what luggage box? It's waste, not good. He was talking in Canada, but he doesn't know that I also know, I can understand Canada. So I was like, ah, not good. You should have just taken a, um, a good, uh, I, I'll give you a helmet lock wire type thing, which uh, un, uh, you, uh, if anyone tries to cut it also, no one will be able to cut it. This is a waste box. I was like, okay, okay, fine. Your, uh, I don't need your opinion whether I want the box or not. It's my choice. So I went in and then I saw the helmet for like 30 seconds. And then I told him, okay, fine. Uh, I'll come back, give me your card uh, till what time you're open. He told me, he didn't want to tell me. So I don't know, I'll come back. So that guy instantly, the moment I told him I'll come back, I was like, why, why, what happened? Uh, the, didn't you like the helmet? No, I told I like the helmet. Uh, I also uh, know, now know the price that you will be giving me. So I'll just uh, do some research and uh, I'll come back. So that guy, what price? Uh, if you want a uh, price or some something lesser price, I have other helmets too. In this also, I can give lesser price. In three thousand five hundred, I can give you empty helmet. There are different different uh, uh, models or something. He was trying to say. I didn't get exactly, but one thing that I got was that he was trying to sell me a fake one too. By actually this quoting less price, what what? He was actually saying that first copy, second copy, those things also he has and he can sell those also. So he was basically, huh, less price you can get uh, that also, you can this also, I can also give you. So that was something that the last thing that made me that I'm never going to come back to the shop was actually telling me, huh, for less price also I can give you the same helmet, which actually is the first or second copy. So I was basically ready to leave and this guy was pretty much I knew that he didn't want to meet he didn't want me to leave without buying a helmet so he started telling that sir uh, so many things we showed you now if you are not buying wastage of time so much time and I was like should every customer who comes to you you expect them to buy I mean okay uh, I'll come back I'll see if you are providing the, the best price and if your suggestions were best I'll come back and buy from you but uh, that does not mean that uh, I should not ask you to show me all the models or uh, what What kind of, what are you trying to say? So uh, I took your uh, card, I took your number. If I if we, I, I asked you what till what time you're open, if I feel you're providing the best price and your uh, suggestions were the best, I'll come back. So this guy was like, 
Oh, okay, okay, sir. But I knew that guy was. I don't know whether he was really uh, like sad or upset or he was just acting in front of me. But I didn't like it at all. And then he was like, uh, "Okay, you'll come back today. Okay, then give me your number. I'll uh, I'll call. Uh, give me your number. I'll call you." I was and I was actually at first okay. Take my number if you want. Then I was like, "Why should I give you my number?" I mean, what are you doing? If I want to buy, I'll buy. I I I don't want I don't want to give you my number. I mean, what what are you trying to say that I you are going to like force me to buy? I go just leave me, man. I don't have time to speak with you like this. If your thing was good, I'll call. And uh, I'm really unhappy with this kind of uh, shops. I mean, what are you trying to do over here? I don't know. but most of these helmet shops their suggestions are really bad and uh, if you see on youtube people uh, give proper reviews i mean most of the reviews are matching but if you see though their this marketing guys they don't know anything uh, they don't even know if after one week what kind of problems people face after buying the helmet and simply they are telling something in their imagination whatever they know they are just telling these things and uh, this was something bad that i experience I know these most of these sales person don't know anything. Mo- they don't have any knowledge. Mostly in India, most of the people don't have any knowledge. Mostly, now there are some people who have knowledge. I'm not denying it, but most of the shop that I go, like I've seen this kind of uh, marketing thing. So I came out, and this is what I want to share with you all that uh, don't fall into this kind of traps where. Uh, they will uh, try to force it in any way they want you to buy whether the helmet is good or bad doesn't matter them they want to sell you something so don't fall into such kind of traps it is your money uh, do the proper research and then only spend it don't come into the influence of these kind of people you are something to them if you buy but they are nothing to you it is your the product that you will buy and it will be your problem if, if the purchase goes bad do proper research be satisfied that you uh, make your mind that you're going to buy something try it and only after proper thinking do the purchase don't be under the influence of anyone so this is what i want to share with you all if you found this video informative i know it has been slightly long but uh, this was something that i wanted to share with you all so if you found this video informative please hit on that like button if you want to share anything like this please do comment below so that others can also see the comments and uh, can be aware of such things and if you are new to the channel please do consider subscribing if you found this video useful this is yep chat signing off and i hope to see you soon in my next video bye bye